Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video my mom is making a beautiful teal and gold resin clock. The first thing she's doing is taking Deepon's Luxury Burnt Gold Powder and using a small brush she applies it to the edge of the mold. This will give a beautiful gold trim without having to use a marker later. Then she starts to apply the powder with her finger to make sure to get it into the crevices and the upper edge. She uses an alcohol wipe to remove any excess powder and then also flips the mold over and lightly shakes it. Then she separated her resin into smaller cups to add in her pigments and in today's video she's using resin by Deepon. The first pigment she's using is just resin's pale gold and she'll also be mixing in J Diction's dark gold mica powder into the same cup. The next pigment she's using is just resin's blue diamond. And again, she mixes the pigment in the container first before adding some into a small cup. And in her next cup, she uses Deepon's alcohol ink in the shade Intense Teal. As always, I'll have all the products that you see in this video linked in the description below, as well as some discount codes. Then she uses Deepon's alcohol ink in the shade Mocha. And lastly, just resin's pigment paste in the shade Titanium White. I have a 10% discount code for just resin in the description. And in that same cup, she adds in a teeny bit of just resin's light burnt umber. And she adds in some of J Diction's yellow pigment. Now that all of her pigments are mixed in, she's ready to start pouring and starts with the gold pigmented resin around the edges. And she uses a silicon makeup brush to make sure that it's even on all sides. And cleans up any excess with an alcohol wipe. Then she pours her intense teal alcohol ink right alongside. Followed by her mocha pigmented resin. And with her last two pigments, she circles around the mold several times. Then she pours clear resin directly into the center. And again, continues to circle around the mold. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles, and whenever you're using a torch gun, be careful to move it very quickly so that you don't burn your resin or your molds. and she uses a heat gun to help promote some movement. And in a separate cup, she mixes in some gold leaf flakes as well as some glitter flakes and adds in a drop of the mocha alcohol ink and this will be part of her center detail. Then she takes some gold leaf flakes and applies them directly into the center of the mold and she uses a wooden stick to help adjust the placement. And then she adds in the rest of her center detail from her cup. She uses a wooden stick to help drag some of the pigmented resin into the center so that there's no clear areas. She works on some final touches and then comes back the next day to demold.
Once she demolded, she did a top coat, and if you're interested to see how we do that whole process, I'll leave a video linked above. But after her top coat, she removed the liquid latex, which protects the bottom, and here's a clip of her removing that latex. Then she adds in the mechanism and hands. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.